Welcome back to the shop. I'm Jeff from Today's Craftsman, and we're looking at a zero clearance insert today. Ours is for the Saw Stop Industrial Series, uh, but these are available for uh, different table saws and even miter saws. This is from a company called Cauliflower. Um, not spelled like the vegetable, it's C-O-L-L-I-F-L-O-W-E-R. Uh, this gentleman makes these here right in the United States. Ours is made out of aluminum and John has been admiring it for a couple years now. So we, we went ahead and ordered one for him and he's actually, he's making them out of a different material now. This is uh, linen micarta. So if you're, if you're into knives at all, you've seen this on knife scales. Basically it's linen and epoxy. And I believe he switched over to this because sometimes this um, aluminum plate, which is what ours is made out of, throws a little bit of interference at the saw and, um, and it makes it think that there's something conductive touching the blade, which you don't want with your saw stop. Um, you can see here, these are the inserts it comes with. Now these are to allow the riving knife to pass through. But if we want, you know, the best possible zero clearance, we want it to look like this. We want it to be tight up against the riving knife. And what we'll do is put in the, the original that came from the factory and show you why we want to have a zero clearance plate in our saw. So back here, you know, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not perfectly tight. This has been opened up a little bit from some bevel cuts, but fairly tight here. But you can see we have, you know, about a, a half inch gap here. So if we were to make a rip that was, you know, say a quarter inch, when we, when we pass through, you know, your piece is gonna wanna go right down inside there. Now this is a piece of, what, half inch Baltic birch, and it drops, drops right in there. Um, very dangerous. Another reason is on a table saw, down here on the table, because of the direction of the blade is where you're gonna get tear out. So the more support you have on either side of the blade, um, the better of a cut you're gonna get on the bottom. So what we can do is we'll get John set up with his and show you how we do this little hack to get the best zero clearance. So we have our insert here. And like I, I was saying before, it comes with these two inserts. I don't know how to differentiate between insert and insert, but this is your zero your throat plate. That's what I should say. Your throat plate and your insert. The throat plate comes with these two inserts, but he also sells these, which are for dados. So um, when you're running a dado blade, riving knife doesn't do you any good. So you can um, raise the blade up through this and make a zero clearance for a dado. The issue with trying to do that with a riving knife is, you know, your riving knife is gonna hit the bottom of this. So you're not gonna be able to raise your blade up. It's gonna wanna push this, um, this throw plate out of the saw. So what we need to do is um, a little bit of a trick that I figured out to be able to, be able to do this. <laughs> I guess it's uh, best explained by doing. So what we could do is we could take this out and we have to remove our riving knife. That's the first step. So with the saw stop, it's easy. You just lift this handle, riving knife comes right out. It's one of our favorite features of this saw is how easy it is to, to take the riving knife out. And these are just like a, a sliding dovetail. So you can pull one out and we'll slide the new one in. And we have to lower our blade. So you can see it's a nice fit between the, the original aluminum one and this linen micarta. Now we're gonna, we're gonna turn on dust collection and turn on the saw. And I'll actually, I'll, I'll put this over top of the, um, the throw plate just to hold it down. I'm gonna raise the blade up all the way. Then uh, we'll turn everything off and I can show you the next step.
So we made our, our first cut here. Now, if you're not going to run a riving knife, now you have a nice zero clearance for just your blade. But the riving knife is back here. So now we need to, you know, make a slot for that to come through. And the way that I figured out how to do it is we take out this um, zero clearance throw plate. I'll put in the, the stock one just to make it um, more true to life because you, you don't have two of these probably. Now what we'll do is remove this. We're going to raise the blade up a little bit. And we're actually going to put this over top. We're going to set our fence right up to it. Now you want to make sure that you're not pushing this into the blade. So I can feel there that it's hitting the tooth a little bit. So that feels like it's nice and free. I'm going to lock the fence down and we want to extend this cut. So some people might think that this is sort of dangerous. You're going to start the saw with a piece of wood in there, but you can see that we have full movement. So as long as we're not touching a tooth like this or like this, you know, there's no, no danger in this. You can use a push stick. I find I have more control uh, on a cut like this just by using my hands. And we'll just make a mark. So we're, we're about an inch and a half off there. So we can just make a little mark here. And we're just going to cut up to this line. So again, I'm going to hit the dust and turn on the saw and make the cut. Anytime you're, you know, making a cut like that, turn the saw off and wait for the blade to fully stop before you move anything. Um, that goes for like the miter saw as well. So you can see we have a nice full length cut now. So we can remove this stock plate. <coughs> can slide in the one we just cut. Reinstall the riving knife. If you've ever pulled riving knives in and out, um, it could be a big pain, but thankfully this just goes right back in. And there you have it. So we have full range of motion. That blade is all the way up. You can see it's, it's up so high, it's pushing on the bottom. We hope you found that helpful. Having zero clearance inserts on your tools in the shop, you know, they make your, your cuts better, they're safer, um, and they're easier. <laughs> well, I said three things before. I can't remember what three, three things they were. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, having zero clearance, it's, it's just better. We, we, we're not sure why manufacturers aren't shipping their tools with zero clearance inserts. Um, you know, saw stop knows where the riving knife is, so they, they theoretically could send this with the saw. Um, but we're not sponsored by Cauliflower. We've been using this, this insert for, uh, like I said, three or four years. I've had one on my Makita miter saw for, I want to say about six years. Um, he makes stuff for all kinds of different tools on his website, and uh, we'll leave a link for that down below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down there for us and we'll see you on the next one.